All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the studio today. <laughs> I got my headphones on and I have the audio loop on, so I make sure I'm actually speaking into the microphone so I'm not over here talking and you can't hear what I'm saying. I'm trying. Anyway, I had a lot of questions since I did the P01, P59 video talking about what they can do, capability, and everything else. And essentially, I'm just showing these images here because this is the computer, and it can be the P01 or the P59. They have the same external appearance and size and connectors and everything. So the big thing here is it has to be, if you want to do, well, if you watch the video over and you want to do FlexFuel and 3-bar OS, and have idle air control with a cable throttle body because the P59 was primarily, the way I see it, is for electronic throttle body cars. So majority of them don't have the physical chip that can drive the IAC and that shows the TPS. So we go over all of that stuff in the first video. I will link to that in the description for this video. If I don't, go ahead and chastise me and I will put it in the description right away and we'll get that taken care of, obviously. The big thing here is, here is an unmolested stock segment Silverado ECU. And this is where you're gonna see the differences between the operating system and the resolution and the scale that you get. Your fuel table is this right here, this 15 to 100 kPa. This is like 20 inches of vacuum, and this is like zero, almost boost. And what happens is, is when you apply the speed density update, which one do we want to open up first? Here is... Let's go right to another P01. Here, sorry. This is a P01 three bar OS loaded up. And you can see here, we have just tr tripled the real estate. We've gone from, you know, we have the this first 100, and then we have 200, and then we have 300. And there is a, a ton. There's five KPA difference here, all the way up to 220 and it starts going by tens and it's just a fantastic amount of resolution you know if you're going to be cruising around you have all this area in vacuum you got this area low boost moderate boost higher boost you know closing in on 30 pounds you have a ton of the table available to use and you can really you know, make the car drive nice because you have all of the real estate for fueling. And when you go to a, yeah, let's, this is a P01 with a two bar OS, huge amount of resolution, lots of area to mess around. When you go to the P59 that has, you want flex fuel, you want the idle air control, this is what you deal with. It, it only takes the same constraints here and it quickly narrows down your field of what you have available, like what we would call resolution. Your available space in the fuel table is essentially one third of what it would be with a three bar P01 OS right here. I mean, you're, you're missing out on quite a bit. And people in my videos were like, what's that stumble? And I'm always like, it's this vacuum area. If you look at the P01, oh, sorry, sorry, P59, it ends at 30. So if you're idling here and you accelerate and cruise and it's all this area, if you're running 20 kPa or 25 or 30, it has all the same fueling. So this is like that hump in high vacuum at higher RPM that I'm riding this weird line where if I put enough fuel in to cruise, it's good. As soon as I lift, it has too much. It's got like a 10-0 on D cell, which if there's too much there, stalls the damn car out or just wastes fuel excessively. You can smell it on D cell. It's just pouring out. 
and in the mid range you lose out on some which not too big of a difference in my opinion but this is where people run into an issue with the 210 pound injector you wouldn't in the case where you have this much room to play with it's much easier but by the time you're running a big swing of boost and a huge injector on such a small table you have a lot of things negatively working against you so I know a lot of this can be confusing at first but if you just look at the size of these fuel table differences it makes it pretty easy I think if you once you see this amount of fuel table that you have and it gets crushed down into this you're thinking to yourself man I, I might struggle with some areas because I just don't have the real estate the resolution the flexibility in the fuel table to cover all my areas especially with this one ending at 30 I mean I almost wish they just got rid of some in boost and the issue is you can't change the stock computer parameter for this KPA scale at least not that I know of some of you might be able to tell me how to do that the really attractive thing is one guy posted it on sloppy and it's a custom operating system do 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 bringing it up here sorry unprepared here we go it's a custom os that he modified with efi live and then reread with hp tuners and it didn't explode or yell at him and the really neat thing here is in the fuel airflow main ve and it has two ve's so this is a flex fuel enabled p59 tune-up that essentially has two ve tables so you match the upper and the lower and bam you get you know way more down to the 15 to 100 and a little bit better here too and it essentially stacks the tables and I haven't gotten to mess with this a whole lot, but I believe, you know, this will really solve a lot of my problems when I put this in, if and when I put this in and, you know, work on the tune-up. Yeah, you know, this fixes all of that. So this is attractive. I just have to implement this into what I'm doing, and that fixes that. But this is a custom operating system through EFI Live, and the la I did load it once or twice, and I had issues where it was fine and then I couldn't drive and then it would go super lean or rich. And that's one of those things that needs to be researched more before I can just give a, a definite. Every now and then you'll run into, if you mess with HP tuners a long time, they'll do like an update on the program itself and weird things will happen <laughs> post flash because of the version of hp tuner so it might be that might be something else i just got to go in and because this is someone else's base tune obviously i trust mine more and i hit the ground running a little bit better with what i have so i always like to you know i put this in 40 cars i haven't had a problem this is he did tune a car and it's it's still experimental i don't know how many he's used but i, I thank him for throwing it up there because ton of people on sloppy are an expert but can't teach you or provide any expert tools they're like oh yeah it's easy i've been doing that for 10 years and you say well please share with the class and those people kind of fade away usually and don't give out any of their shit, even if they can mostly i think it's just a they can't and they got called out anyway I'll, i'd like to say that but this is something i want to mess with the dual tables giving you more resolution it also has as you can see bump, bump, bump. where is it where's flex there it is flex enabled operating system so i hope this clears up a little bit about the this is the nuts and bolts like what you're seeing on the interface because we talked about the features and now that we have the features 
these are the little nuances where when you're running the big injector and you have the injector scaled in the operating system and you're running flex fuel and you have everything and you're on top of the world, but your fuel table is this big in comparison to when you had a, a PO one and you had way bigger fuel table. And you know, it's just little shit like this is why sometimes people turn away tuning them because they know they can get it to run right, but you're probably going to complain about drivability. And wh- wh- my truck, honestly, I'm not the greatest tuner. I don't profess to be any good at it. Uh, I hand out what works and I say it works, but that's beside the point. Some people will turn it away because they know eventually you paid for a professional tune and you're going to be unhappy with the result that they know is going to be like that finicky in vacuum off vacuum throttle stuff. I'm running into that a little bit, but it definitely, if starts runs drives, everything is good. It's just getting the experience to figure out how to fix this stuff with sharing with the class and other things like that might be able to figure it out. might be one of those things where you just suck it up and that's, it is how it is kind of thing. Or, Someone comes along and delivers the dual VE table awesomeness and we get that working and I can hand all that stuff out. So I hope that opens your eyes a little bit to the features and, you know, I think I just, I just prefaced all this a minute ago. So if you have any questions in particular about the operating systems or some of the other things, or if you... Tune with HP Tuners, and you think I'm a retard, go ahead and write that down below. If you have any way to assist or help, that would be excellent too. You can share that with the class. Much appreciated. Let me know what you think about this quick explanation here. I think I'm going to do one quick on why I always show mile an hour on my dyno charts while I'm here, while I'm recording some stuff. Just so people are always asking for a mile or people are always asking for an RPM chart and I'm showing them a mile an hour and there's a reason why most of the time. So we'll go over that.